In the previous video, we looked at how to find the area of a circle and the circumference or the distance around a circle. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find the area of partial circles and also how to find what's called the arc length or the distance around part of a circle. So let's take a look at this. And we'll start with just an easy section, a semicircle or half of a circle. So in this one, we have the question, it says find the area and arc length of the semicircle. And we see the semicircle has a diameter of 10 centimeters. If we go back, we'll remember that our area formula for a circle is pi r squared. And our circumference formula is 2 pi r or pi times d. We're going to use both with r just to be consistent here. So the first thing we want to know, our diameter is 10 centimeters, so we need to know our radius, which is half of the diameter. The radius is 5 centimeters. Now, if we're going to figure out the area of a semicircle, the easiest thing to do is just figure out what is the area of the whole circle. So to do that, we will plug in 5 for r. The area is pi times 5 squared, which is five, pi times 5 times 5, so pi times 25, or 25 pi. Now, since this is half of a circle, we're going to take that and multiply it by 1 half. So 1 half times 25 pi. 1 half times 25 pi, we can put 25 over 1. 1 half times 25 over 1 is 25 halves pi. Or we can write it as 25 pi over 2. And we don't want to forget our units because it's area centimeters squared. And that would be our answer. And if we want a number for that, we can always put it in our calculator. For arc length, we're going to do the same thing. We'll find the circumference as though we have the whole circle. So the circumference is 2 times pi times 5, or 2 times 5 is 10, 10 pi. And we're going to do 1 half of that. 1 half times 10 pi. 1 half times 10 over 1 is 10 over 2 pi. 10 over 2 equals 5. So our arc length, and we'll write that here, arc length, equals 5 pi. And that's 5 pi. Since it's just a distance, it's not square, units squared or anything, it's just 5 pi centimeters. So this is how we do a half circle. Let's look at what happens with another size. In this case, a partial circle. It says, find the area and arc length of the partial circle shown below. Well, we can see that this is 3 quarters or 3 fourths of a full circle. So if we're going to do that, again, we want to find the area of as though it was a full circle to start with. So the area would be pi times 9 squared, because our radius here is 9 inches. 9 squared is 81, so we have 81 pi. Then if we find this, this is 3 quarters of a circle. So we're going to do 3 fourths times 81 pi. So 3 fourths times 81, if we can put that over 1, 3 fourths times 81, uh, is 81 and 4 don't really simplify, so we have to go with 3 times 81. 81 times 3 is 3, 1 times 3 is 3, 8 times 3 is 24, 243 pi divided by 4. So our 
area is 243 pi over 4 inches squared. Then our arc length, again, we're going to find the circumference. So circumference would be 2 times pi times eight, uh, 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 pi. And again, it's 3 quarters of the circle. So we're going to do 3 fourths times 18 pi. And we'll put that over 1. And to simplify before we even multiply, I'm going to change 18 and 4 to 9 and 2. So 3 times 9 is 27 pi over 2. And that can't simplify. 27 pi over 2 inches. And that would be the arc length or the distance around from here going around the circle to here. So again, this is simply finding the area and circumference of a circle, but then multiplying it by whatever fraction of the circle we have. Whether that's three quarters of a circle, one half of the circle, we'd multiply by one half, or another fraction. Maybe we have a quarter of our circle, or even something like a sixth of a circle. We multiply by that fraction to get the arc length and the area of the partial circle. Now try the practice for all of the circles and then give, uh, uh, you can move on to the test for this topic.